We are going to continue from our last video, and that is looking to implement playoffs to our nation. Let's see if we can do it. As you can see, I am in a different editor. It's because I'm going back to a 2023 one. I want to have a quick look at something. And there's just information rules bit. So if we go for a minute, current nations, if we go to England, yeah, add lower structure, that's fine. And I wanted to look at this. Could we add all that detail? So we go to English Premiership, General. So what we could do in this is add minimum number of teams, 20, 20, relegation places, promotion places, dates. And that was it. Then we had General, which was just a start and end date. Uh, cup, so click on there and nothing. It was just a linked cup what type of cup it is and what competition is linked with obviously via the database i'm just going to again double check this and check it on our nation maybe it's something with england that we can't do it but if we're building a nation you might be able to i just want to rule things out okay so i've loaded london version three in fact we had on there if we go next we have to let me go in here it's nothing about playoffs is there no if we go general we do have transfer windows and transfer rules Remember, uh, when we was looking at it before in Football Manager 24, we could do subs. Okay, work permit rules. Okay, okay, okay. And then divisions. We haven't got any divisions here. We try and add one. Single division. Competition. Division one. Number of teams. Nine. Uh, four. Okay, substitute rules. Okay, maybe it's because we created it. It's a new division. It's not locked. Uh, let's just do this for a minute. Promotion places. None. to Finish. Now, if we go to Division 1, what can we do? Playoffs are there. So it is there. So already created nation like England, as we just went on to, it's not there. But actually, it's always been there that we could do playoffs. But we are having problems with playoffs. And I do want to run through just in case that we could get it working via this way. Because what's the point of having it here if we could do it, right? Why would you put it here? Yes, I know that we can get in detail in for advanced rules. And you're probably thinking, Dupa, just go into for advanced rules and crack on with it. But if there's a quick way, I want to tell you about it. How was F1 feeling with this cold weather? Obviously, if you're up north, you get snow. I'm down south, so it's just cold. And to be fair, I'm a wisp with the weather. I love hot weather. I can't stand it. I've got better. Maybe I need to make this coffee iris to warm me up. We are back in for editor where we should be. Definitely, I like the purple. It's good to compare the two. So there has been progress there. I said in the last video, oh, I'm excited. We've got all this new stuff. But actually, it's always been there. So let's load up our version 1.2. We have a full verified one, isn't it? Yes. Let's one step at a time. Let's just look at this because we're having a date issue. I know that we need to do schedule pattern, make it more random and prize money. I will do that when we're ready to do it. But I think in this video, it's very clear. Let's get playoffs working whether or not we do it by this way or advanced rules. So I've got my dates. So Division 1 and 2 starts 19th of August and goes up to 18th of May. Now that's fixtures. Season starts 17th of July. So looking at our dates, we've got 10th of August and 15th of May. So 19th of August is where our first fixture starts and 18th of May is when it finishes. That says 15th of May. All right, let's just double check our date. 10th of August, 15th of May. 10th of August, 15th of May. 10th of August, 15th of May. And this is all verified. Check clashes with. Maybe this is where we need to put in a tick and plow. Will that be that we would clash with domestic comps only? Maybe all we need to have that in there? Same. What does that do? With competitions, should we avoid clashes with when generating fixtures? Oh, break period, TV dates, list of rules used to move matches for television, process in top of bottom order by game. Saturday. Oh, that's going really into detail now, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I want to do that today. Can play on Christmas Day. No. Fixture rule. Find any match day rule intended for this competition. Ah, oh, okay. That. Okay, that's fine. Clear that. Squad rules. That's fine. We don't want to do that. We've got sub rules. Other points to deduct. No. And playoffs. Well, we don't want playoffs in there. What we want is we want playoffs in here. So let's do this again. One. Set that simple just to do that dates thing with clashes. Check for clashes with all prize money, fixture rules, other 
championship playoff, promotion playoff up type number of teams in playoff or or do we just do second and third now because then that's a final number of teams promoted from playoff one what was it before number of teams qualified for upper division playoff it's that one number of teams promoted from playoff number of teams qualified for upper division oh, maybe that's a split maybe match rules yeah number of legs two in relegation playoff nothing else there's no dates nothing we've got no reserves that's it does the clash ticking that clash does that help no first of june is not in season date rate again is that division two is that because of the playoffs it has to extend because we know that it goes up until 18th of may kind of makes sense first of june just oh, we want to try and get this right taking our time if i really have to go into advanced rules and see if there's a playoff date schedule thing that we can do first of june 2021 is not in season date range change that didn't i change okay how about second second of june okay oh just go end of the month and then <laughs> this is what we were doing we was like extending it and extend it okay first of july not in season date range thing is i need to work out when will they play for playoffs so season finishes how does it know when to put a playoff in season finishes and then it does for two legs which would be I'm guessing because I've only put down match day for the league as Saturday, it would be Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. So it'd be three weeks. Are we working out right now? So we said originally 15th of May. I think I'm going to have to go advance rules, aren't I? It's not working. One, two, three. So we then say 6th of June. And then we go up here and go 6th of June. Set. Now it's jumped to 23rd of June. It's not in season date. I'm thinking. I'm getting frustrated. Ah, yes. So do we then update it on for the 30th of June? Now it's gone all the way to July. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get putting in playoffs. That's going to involve three games. We've extended it by three weeks. We've extended the update day. Why is it still going? I don't get it. 12th of July. It's nothing's affecting our fixtures that we know that end on for 18th of May in both divisions. That's already set. We've tested and verified. We get our fixtures. Nothing impacts that apart from end of the season. We've put in three weeks, whereas ideally it should be a midweek game, Saturday day game, and then obviously for playoff day, it should be two weeks. But we put three weeks in and it's still not doing it. I'm going to reload this file. And we're just going to go straight into advanced rules and see if we can do it in there. And if you haven't seen it before and you're following this, I guess this is a great time to just show you. <laughs> to be fair, you just get used to it. I'm looking for London, but actually I want England. Always add lower. And then I'm going to go into England's advanced rules because we want to copy for championship playoffs or for EFL's playoffs route, right? So if we go to the championship, now I don't think they have it as a competition, do they? Not like Skybet championship playoffs here, is there? No, they don't create a competition. Okay, let's go into Skybet championship. And we want to, I believe it's in stages. And that's where we probably need to do, yeah, so cup. And that was going to be, going to actually take photos of the screens. It's easier to scrub bone and that. So, thinking there, nothing there, and nothing there, okay. Get all teams from Division Skybet Championship. Don't know why we have that, but maybe that might be one just to add in while we're there. Well, we saw it. If we see anything, let's take it uh league settings qualification rules here we go yes so they've put it in here next main stage name playoff next stage stage index one which will be because we've got stage zero so we will need to make stage one as well there we want to go to league schedule anything here oh wow look at that league schedule can we open it up in fact you can't have two advanced rules open they'll be like oh i like that let's copy it not really anything in there, is there? Add. Did he add stuff to that? Ah, okay. There's a breakdown. Ah. Then we have these end dates. End date from fixture dates list. 42. Number of dates, 46. Oh, I don't know what that. Ah, there's 46 match dates. I wonder if playoffs will still go through without doing all that. Because we've run for league with all, without all this information. Let's go to here. Let's open it up. Anything in here? Yeah, okay. So for usual... And once we've put this in here, I nothing in there. Teams. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is all good. I haven't seen anything about dates apart from obviously for schedule. Nothing in there. Rounds. Have they got date? Fixture priority. Okay. 
Oh, wow. There's loads. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take photos of all of this and then I'm going to implement that into the editor. So we've gone back to our editor file and we've gone to division two. Then we need to go down to stages, open that up. Do you need to add in a stage? And that will be add in. It's going to be index one. That's going to be cut. OK, I think that's all we need for now. Uh, do we need a name? Do they call it just cut. OK, there you go. Exact same as it. Yeah, that's what we want. OK, all right, let's go back to where it was. Oh, yes, there was a Teams thing, wasn't there? Uh, where was the Teams? Was that in here? Teams. Get all Teams from Division. And what Division? Did we choose a Division somewhere here? Competition, there it is. Search, Add Nation, London, uh, Division 1. Ah, not Division 1. Uh, division 2. And while I'm here for a minute, we're just going to do that again on Division 1. I saw it on there. I don't know if it really makes a big difference, but we are going to do it anyway. Division one. Just so that's there. It's just mirroring up, right? As I said, if we see stuff, let's do it. Right, we've got two stages, but we want to go to league one first, league settings, qualification rules. Here we go. I already started doing this a little bit. So what we got? Yeah, so two gets promoted there, but only one in our league. And then it's a max of Okay, it's 2 2. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, top playoffs. I mean, he's going to play. Well, I mean, we've got legal 10. One goes up. That's so if you get in top five, you go into plow. You know what? Let's just do it. Just so that we can see if we can play off running. Stage name search. Oh, I didn't say code, but I would presume. Again, if we go name playoff or playoff one, it was just called playoff playoff or playoff playoffs. Okay. Ah, oh, man, there's a code. Ah, oh, biscuit. Uh, what one do you reckon it's going to be? Oh, let's just guess and hope. Unless it's just a name, I don't know. Stage index, which will be here. It's going to be a one. And then we go into stage one, cup, cup, one. Stage name, playoff, cup, number of teams, four. Amazing. Okay, general. That for next stage. Yeah. Again, number of teams, four. I think that's it. Yeah, don't see anything else on this page. Great. That's a nice, easy one. Uh, requirements. Uh, we want to add and that have competition. It has stage will be just under league. All it says. Anything else? No, nope, that's it. Then we will do teams. Add, add all. And you're going to do this one as all of our teams from stage. See, wouldn't we just uh, move? And I just copy them and change the numbers on it. Yeah. It qualified teams on stage. Okay. Right. Division two. And then that's going to be put league. Is that what stage? Yes. League. Then I should have uh, done a breakdown of it. It's going to be playoff. Then I need something else. Position. Team index. Seed in, reverse, sort in, top position, bottom position, team index, use teams that qualified for hitting stage, team index. Maybe it's team index. I'm looking for position because I've got 3021. 3021. Found out what it was and it was team index. So this one here. And that's going to be free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it three more times and just go in here and change this to 0, 2, and that's one. OK, that's that bit done. Interesting. I don't know what it kind of means. I, I guess it's just getting for qualified teams from the league, which actually if they come, you have one promoted first and then you have four teams for the playoff promotion. To my head, it's simple thinking. They can third, fourth, fifth. And then obviously, if you wanted something fancy, you then would change your rules. So maybe that's why you've got that easy playoff build. But we're stuck on the dates. I don't know what happened in the dates. If you've ever done it in uh, not going through advanced rules and you've done it and you're successful with the date, let me know. Or you same with me that you've had to kind of look at another nation to see how they're built to try and implement it into your nation. Also, I want to do something different, but I also want to learn. You have to learn something that's been done to then make adjustments, right? OK, next one. Round defaults. Yep, substitution rules. Only one. And we are going to go, what have I had before? Five from 12? Five from seven, maybe that one, wasn't it? Seven too low? You know what, I'm going to 
let's not mess around. We can always come back and change it. And then we want to do, so we're going to add two rounds. One's going to be a, oh no. One's going to be semi-final. Let's go with, uh, oh, there you go. There's only one. And then the other one is going to be, I bet there's going to be loads of these. No, that's the, uh, no, okay, let's go with that. And then we're going to do semi-final is four teams, then two, let's go four, two, number of legs, two, replays, none, domestic league, I, stadium, home, rural rules. Ah, I don't know what they are. Uh, let's not have any draw rules at the moment. I need to do this again. So zero, one, one, zero, domestic, I, and neutral. Uh, is that neutral? National. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Oh, yes, this is the big ones. Okay. That's already done. General. All right. To be fair, this might already be done. Four, four, two, two, zero, I, home, Raw rules. Ah, oh, okay, look. Ah, oh, it's given us it. So, raw rules. Uh, we want draw. Don't randomize. We put them. There you go. Then, TV type, satellite. You know what? That's one thing I'm going to change. We're going to have that as national. That's on like BBC London or something like that. We're not going to go satellite there. Why not? And then we got dates. Here we go. This is all for stuff. It's probably going to now help us. Saturday. Oh, man, why Saturday? Because that, that's Saturday. 7th May. Right. Time. Even the time, look at that. 12 o'clock, apparently. Okay. Then we got match one, match two. And match one uh, will be uh, no time, no date. Just got a fixture date. Ah, okay, there you go. Date, ticks, apparently. Can't choose anything. Earliest. There's nothing there. Fixture date. Uh, not found in fixture dates list. Okay, so we'll have to look at that. Match rules. Uses 10 yard. Going to see for the descent rule. Offset dates. Offset. Add. Put on minus one. 17. 30. And does it. So all it's got. Okay. Then match two. Fixture date. All that time. Draws. Ah, this is the legs, isn't it? Okay, that's fine. I'd love to have a look at that. It'd be extra time. Penalties. And uses 10 yard rule. And minus one. And this is a offset date. Uh, will be a one. And 19.45 and nothing else. Oh, okay, so that's those dates. Don't forget, this is just a semi-final. But I need to find out about fixture rules. And these fixture dates, I believe, allow you to have midweek fixtures as well to stretch out fixtures and get them in. Because if you look at the championship, they've got loads of fixtures called midweek one, two, three, four, five. That kind of makes sense. So we need to kind of insert this now. We need to. And as you can see, I need to have it as a first semi-final. We go semi-final, okay. But then I need to put in leg, second leg. What we will do is, I think you can choose it here. And it's going to be sub-stage. So now we can choose two and search for first leg. That means we need three. At, at. Okay, brilliant. So once you've added one, it's going to do it in that manner. It's cool. So if we can put semi-final then do search again and that's going to be second leg okay and then this one is going to be just final okay I'm surprised it's not playoff semi-final double check that no because it knows it is right and apparently this is just a date specified here i linked to by stages in this competition and also when scheduling other competitions to avoid clashes which from this looks like just clashing with potential Champions League. And that's it. And what it's got is it's all zeros there. Champions League. Champions League final. Champions League final. And Champions League final. And we go minus 18, minus 14. Oh, unless it arranges it around for Champions League final. Is that what it's doing? When Champions League final is, ranges it of minus final. Makes sense. And then we've got times in here, which would be 19.45, then clock, and then clock. Okay. Yeah, I reckon that might be is that putting it in. I mean, it's avoiding clashing dates, right? So let's see. Let's see. It all goes hand in hand, I guess. Because then if we now go back to the stages up and to the rounds, this is up, we're in for semi final, general. 
And I think we got to date, so then we, yes, here we go. We did everything else. So on this one, we need to choose first leg. Then we need to choose second leg. Now, if you wanted to choose another playoff setup and you know that it is already in another nation or a league, do what I'm doing. Just take snippets of it and just go through it. There might have to be some bits like we've done that we might have to go back to it. But to be fair, look at the amount of stuff we have to change. We're starting from scratch. I've never done it before, so we're learning. If I do this a few times, like anything, it's going to be much easier and we can play around with it as well. If we want to change things, we'll have a little tweak of it. But the main thing is let's get working in our nation and then we can tweak. All right, it looks like for the next thing is offset dates. We want to enable that. Put some bits in here. Add. There's two things we want to do here. Date offset minus one. 5 Leg index zero. Then the number of matches one. And then we've got. There's things like this you would never think to do, but I'm pretty sure it's got a reason behind it. This is a match on this match date is moved for each offset date. So does that mean that you have one playoff game one day? So on a, I think we've said maybe on a Wednesday, so then it goes minus one. Was this for leg? That uh, one leg is on a Tuesday and five ones on a Wednesday and vice versa. Now we move in, so we close the semi-final and move into the final. We've done all that. And general 20110 domestic by national. Yeah, next one going to be general. Again, this should already be done as well. 20110. Yeah, that's fine. And then we get on to dates. I think we started doing number of days after draw date. Drawn after previous round. Where was that then? Uh, yeah, semi-final. There we go. And we're days after the previous round, two, then no idea what the time is, but I think that one was at 12 o'clock. Again, match one, no time, the date. Ah, there you go, final. Don't know why I've got a minus one. We'll go look at that in a minute. Match rules, that's going to be extra time and penalties, right? And no offset dates. Okay. At that minus one, let's, uh, why have we got minus one there? We go back to extra rules. Down here, fixture date, final. Why is that showing up as minus one? Because it's just a main stage name. But that, that now get rid of it. Final, yes. Great action. And we need three of these. Actually, let's do one. Keep on doing that because what it might do is uh, copy and paste it. So set league rate. What we want, final, round name, final, winning team, promoted. And then that will be stage. Promoted and that's lovely. Fine stage in child. I don't know if that's ticked or not. Doesn't come up anything. Let's leave it at that. Let's try that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do by two. And then we're going to do losing team. Then no fate league. Okay. And then this one will be set league fate semi final losing team. No fate league. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Oh, okay. What I like to do is because when you save it, it just like resetting it just so that you don't lose where you are. Yeah, nice. Now, have we put in a playoff into Division 2? Will it verify? So, first thing we need to do is save data as. Just in case I need to go back to, say, so 1.32. Okay. Rules. Test rules. Cool. Come on, fingers crossed. No date errors. No date errors. It might still produce a date error. Does it fit in? Thing is, if it produces data error, you can just update it. I mean, it's in November 2024, now 2026. Verified. Right, let's go test this out again. Save again. Save. I have to save data as. Don't want a different version. Right, well, I'm going to load up the game. We're going to see. Right, we are in the game. Start a new game. Always. Football Manager. We just want that one, I'd say. Yeah. Our latest version. We didn't verify 1.31. So we're still building it, hence why it's free. Next one will be 1.4. Confirm. Go. Bum, 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 bum. Get rid of that, 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 that. We just want that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my default. It goes small, can I, for these tests? Will that help speed up the game? I think I simulating. Maybe. Might have to simulate. See for playoffs in action. I think I am going to do it. Won't take long to do. Just go on holiday for a year. Come back and uh, see what it's done. 
Right, we are in the game, and what do we want to do? London, the nation, AVV, here we go. Division 2, that's where we made the change. See if that's made a difference. Stages, there you go, there's our playoffs. It's in for blue rules. There we go, promotes Division 1, playoffs, 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 playoffs. We need to add in again for prize money. Qualification, teams play second, fifth, qualify for playoffs. Top team wins promotion to Division 1. I'm presuming Division 2 will have two relegated. Amazing, but that's Division 2. Yeah, and once we get regional, I think it's going to be two relegated. That'd look quite a cool little league. One promoted, playoffs, three teams don't do anything, and then two teams go down. Now we need to work out how for regional relegations work. Obviously, if you have two Northern go down, does that mean that the one who wins in for Northern does not get promoted? Because there's got to be some sort of restriction so that the league, like National League, is half and half. But how can you predict? Because you just end up getting three Northern teams or North London teams in this manner. Really, what we want is we want four, right? Yeah. Four. North London, East London, South London, West London. Obviously, I want to do a playoff and I want to do a cup. Cup again, I will need to... Cup could be harder because it's going to have midweek games and it's going to really... Uh, will it stretch out my league? Let's have a look at it. So Wimbledon as an example. Let's have a look at their schedule. Again, every single game is on Saturday. So if we did a cup on a Wednesday, the London Cup was on a Wednesday, it's just going to give them more games and more bigger fixture. And then obviously playoffs if they get in playoffs. Such a simple... Guess what we just need to watch out for is for Champions League and European competitions. But... Division 2 is okay. It being the top division, we need to take that into account. But I'm pretty sure if we copy the FA Cup structure, son, FA Cup is quite big. Maybe League Cup. Probably copy for League Cup structure. Yeah. Because it's a smaller cup, isn't it? That is our next stage. Right, so we have just simulated a season and Arsenal has won Division 1 in for our London nation. Tottenham came second or a point behind. Chelsea, 67 points. Millwall, Charlton relegated. In Division 2, let's quickly look at the table. So there you go. Wimbledon won it, 76 points. Dagenham and Redbridge has won a playoff. Let's have a look at the playoffs. So semi-final, it was Bromley, Leighton Orient, Sutton United, Dagenham, Redbridge. You can see two legs, close to penalties. Amazing. And then for final, oh, it went two all. And Dagenham, Redbridge won in for penalty shootouts. So there it is. We have the playoff. So what's next? Adding a cup. I think I'm going to do that in the next video. There was a lot to go through in today's video, but we've made progress. Last video, we was looking, tried, couldn't do anything really. In this video, we've added playoffs into our nation, Division 2 League. So if you like the series, you know what you need to do. Hit that like button. And if you'd like to continue watching the series or just support the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you on for the next one.